Hi from the Heartland, y'all. It's Square Peg with part two. Welcome to part two. So, Derna, Libya. Well, I have talked a little bit about mass poisonings. And there's the whole watch the water thing. And, well, there's been a mass poisoning. And one of the companies that might be implicated in a crime of that magnitude has a name very similar to that town in Libya, if you catch my meaning. So that got me thinking about um, Astra, like Astro, and A to Z. There's a bookstore in town, A to Z. But um, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, right? A to Z. There's the, That's another company, you know? And then there, we've talked about Sons of Jack and Sons of John. That was about probably over a year ago now, maybe almost a year and a half now that I was talking about, the Sons of Jack and Sons of John. Well, there's another company that it's possible might be implicated in a, in a horrible criminal investigation. So recently there was a news item. Jackie Robinson popped up in the news. And I don't know if many of you remember that last year, maybe 10 months ago, I did a video about Mo. 42, the 42nd state is Missouri, represented by M.O., the show me state. Show me the money, follow the money. And, um, was that, uh, movie about taxes? Show me the law. Right? Show me the money. Follow the money. Show me the law. The show me state. 42. Missouri. M.O. Molybdenum. Number 42. On the periodic table. M.O. Jackie Robinson. So apparently, uh, Jackie Robinson's statue? And did I even write down where this happened? I don't think I did. Oops. <laughs> but was cut off at the ankles on last Thursday. And then Tuesday, it was found, well, well it's burned and charred and ashes remains of the statue were found in a dumpster on Tuesday. And I was like, Jackie Robinson, they retired his number, number 42. And there was a guy who still had the 42, and they just let him ride out his 42. They didn't take his 42 from him when they retired Jackie Robinson's 42. I can't remember what it, what team he's on or what his full name is, but I believe he is known as Mo. So I did a video about that almost a year ago now. <clears throat> I wrote down molybdenum wrong. And I wrote it D-E-N-O-M, kind of like denim. You know, I am, well, molybdenum, it's U-M. So I wrote it like venom. Like snake venom. And watching the water and such. There's been so many options of what you could say. You know, there's little tiny creatures in there. There's little tiny robots in there. It's just saline. There's, you know, things that change the structure of your D and the N and the, and then there's that A. Hopefully my pausing and muttering and stuttering will dissuade any bots from flagging this video. Oh, March 2023. That's when I put that video out. I'll try to tag it at the end of this one. So, that event that happened last 9 and 1 and 1 had, was Derna. And that got me thinking about all these other companies. Pfizer, Eyes. Pfizer. P-H. P-F. Huh. Alright, so then next I have on my list, Watergate. When you see the ring O, 
bring your star key to the water gate. Hmm. Don't pay the ferryman. Does the ferryman charge money? Does the ferryman give you a bill at the gate? His years active on the wiki says 1972 to present. 72, 27. He was born 1028, 55. Watch the water, mass poisoning. Woodward and Bernstein, all the president's men, all the king's men, the cosmic egg, the goat cartoon, looking the snake wrapped around looking at the baby in the egg. Is the egg cracked? Is it beyond repair? Swabbing one's ears and Santa and his wife, Mrs. Yeah, there's that guy with the Weffers. He was born 330 of 1938. There's that 38 again. 27 is the 38th day of the year. Right. That's what that page says, I think. It ends with, uh, it's a choose-your-own-apocalypse game. Is it snake venom? Is it a mass poisoning? Is the water being poisoned? Is a solar flare going to wipe out humanity? Is AI going to destroy humanity? Are, um, demon-invaded dolls going to tear us to bits? Like, was that movie Maximum Overdrive, you know? All, all the machinery is going to come to life and mow us down in the streets? Oh, lawnmower man. Here comes Tommy again. So, I mentioned uh, George Bush Jr. in the goat cartoon 55 years ago. Watched a video recently about why we all seem to need subtitles now. Deaf, dumb, and blind kid. It was a very complicated answer. A very complicated answer. Wow. I had no idea. Such a simple question. But yes, we, we do need to, like, we all seem to need subtitles now. Like, why am I, why can't I hear anything? It's technology, and it's very complicated. That's all I'm going to say about it. So then I got to thinking about autism and uh, filtering sensory input. Talked about it with my recent video about my new glasses. And I've talked about it before, too, that a broken filter, you know, we're letting too much data in. And it's hard for our brains to process. If we're turning into crystal beings, it's like upgrading your computer. So autism is like an evolutionary step of some sort. And we're learning how to process all that extra data without dropping the ball. It's like throwing more balls. You're juggling and you're throwing in more balls. Can you keep juggling all of them? We're train it's a training program to be able to process all of the information that's coming into us correctly. Right? Jukebox Hero from Tommy similar to Bumblebee. Right. And here's where it gets real good. Color blindness. Talked about color blindness. As within, so without. The fractal is personal. And it is public. It is all things. It is the metaphor for the thing, and it is the literal thing. It all gets scooped up together by the fractal, and then it fractals off in different ways. But you're going to have these overlap points where everything that's remotely related to blue, like Blues Travelers, the band that I just talked about in part one, gets it all gets lumped up together, right? So, as within, so without. So, as I was talking about color blindness or the color of your eyes... I was like, I couldn't tell which it was. This was right around the time when I was figuring out. It's both and all. It is all possibilities. And we 
are making the fractal and we are in the fractal. And all possibilities are available. You come to this nodal point when it could be this or it could be that or it could be a metaphor for that or then choose one. Pick one. Pick one. That's all it takes. And the more you try and understand which one it is, weigh out the balance, which one, but which one? This, it's really hard to tell. The more you do that, the more you eddy around in the fractal and you, and your life does not go anywhere and there's no adventure left. Your adventure, you get stuck in this, I need to know which one it is. So I'm just going to collect more and more data until I figure it out. There is no figuring it out. It's just choosing one. Yeah. So, as I was making these videos about the colors of our eyes and color blindness, I was being taught lessons in my own personal life about recognizing red flags and seeing people's true colors. I see your true colors shining through. Trust in my gut, trust in my intuition, my instinct about people, and seeing those red flags right away, n knowing someone for their fruits, which are very colorful. It says to eat the rainbow every day, but you know, I don't recommend that because we are the rainbow, although fruit is good. And I'm tending to go more fruit myself. I don't, I'm not a full fruititarian at this point, but I see the benefits, and fruit's delicious. That song, by the way, came out 825 of 1986, 38 years ago. There's that 38. Choose your own apocalypse. Yeah, we've seen every different kind. It could go any way. The economy could collapse. The grid could go down. The sun could explode. We're in a simulation and everybody figures it out. And a meteor hits the earth. Pick one. <laughs> Pick one and go with it. Or don't. I mean... I've been showing the timeline splitting and how you there's a positive way to take things and there's a, a negative way to take things and it's all in your perception and your choice. I once was lost, now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. So I have learned some lessons in the past few months, specifically few years. I mean, there was a lot of red flags that I should have that I should have recognized with my second marriage, for sure. A lot of them. And I didn't. And I have to forgive myself, accept responsibility for that, and move forward with a better understanding of what those red flags are and how to recognize them right away. Which is awesome. Very, very cool. Like, painful and crazy at the same time. <laughs> Seek and ye shall find. Yes, you can create headlines. The fractal is personal. But you'll see headlines. I know that Uncanny Deduction has been doing this for a long time. He will be talking about something, and there it'll be in the headlines. Yes. And it's possible that no one else will come across that because it's personal. So he's talking about bananas. He's going to come across some crazy stuff about bananas in the headlines, whereas... Maybe no one else would. Like, we're not going to come across some random story about bananas necessarily because that's where his attention is and that's what's being created in his fractal. Yeah. This is super awesome, y'all. So, the five steps to manifesting your reality. And you cannot miss any of them. You have to do all five. Imagine, discuss, emote, plan, and do. Forget about the how. Start small. Belief is key. Terror reflects what each man expects, and each man receives whatever he believes. That's a little poem I wrote. So, interestingly enough, I was running out of room. It's very tiny in the very tiny in the corner here. And I wrote water instead of what air. Because I was running out of room. I just got the basics down. Well, it came out as water. Each man receives water he believes. Like the, the fresh fountain, the fountain of everlasting 
waters. It's been a while since I read the Bible, y'all. But hopefully you, you get my meaning there at the end. Yeah. Belief. Faith. Just move on out there. Fortune favors the bold. Don't worry about the how. And make a choice. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can't do anything wrong here. It's a school. It's a place for growing and learning and elevating. Yeah. So thanks, y'all. Have a great night.